Is there anything particular you'd like to have in that tiny house? Maybe a terrace, you know, in small spaces you need a place where you go breathe. I wanted to live in a tiny apartment, uh, mostly because of the environment. Yes, the previous owner was an interior designer. With oh, very, really? very quirky taste. Wow, and the mezzanine? Yep. That's a bedroom. It is a bedroom. Okay. Downstairs, living room, it's big enough. Small kitchen. A Part. tiny kitchen. Yeah, it's a tiny kitchen, but there's enough space for me for sure. I have everything I need to cook. Oh, wow, look, Tommy. Wow. There's even a birdhouse here. I'm really happy that I took the time to look and find this apartment with Tommy. Uh, it was really fun and we both keep a good uh, memory of it. That's my house. You're taking the one with the terrace? Yes, I am. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Cheers. Salute. I love my new apartment. It was the right choice. Uh, I spent most of the time on the terrace. I mean, they're eating, drawing, and you know, it's most of the time I was there. It's quite an oasis of peace. I would tell everybody to go live in a tiny house. I mean, everything, it's less consuming. So that's a little step towards nature. And you're always out of your house, you know, and you don't need uh, so much space. Now that I see what he's done with the house and how happy he is in it, it definitely, it was the right one. When I come back from the countryside, this house is like a continuation of the place in the countryside. Uh, and it's much more silent than the center. So it's quite an oasis of peace. I had a lot of friends for dinner. I would definitely say go for it to people that decide to go living in a tiny house, that's for sure.